Uh, welcome to Don't Pass Me By. My name is Latoya Mullings. I'm a singer that sings, sing, 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 sing the clouds away. This is where you can receive healing through my voice to your soul. Good morning, Sonia Hanley. Good morning, good morning, Simone. Age of Square. Oh, I won't pronounce it last night. Paulina Cope. <laughs> Everybody, Lorraine Whittle. Please, as you join, like the post, share the live. Martina Kalmar. Marcel Bra Barnwell. Okay. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you all. Please, please share, share, share. I know, yes, the clock changed for us. So, you know, it's 7.36 a.m. in Toronto. I know it's still early in some parts of the Caribbean. It will be 6.36 a.m. Oh, that's pretty early for you. That is why I don't like when they mess with the time. Ciao. Beverly Weber, good morning to you. Uh, Nats Bracelet. I think that's Nashana Henry. Correct me if I'm wrong. Nashana Henry on the roll call, child. Good morning, everybody. Don't pass me by. Don't pass me by. This is the end of Brown. Ah, happy spring to you too, Queen. Yes, she confirmed it. Nats bracelet. Bliss and more is Nashana Henry. Make sure you follow her, guys. Make sure you follow her. That's her page. Dion Lewis. Good morning to you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so happy to see you, Lena. How long have I seen you now? Eh? Just one little week, eh? Just one little week. <laughs> Carol Tyne, good morning. Angie Richards, good morning, everybody. Ah, uh, we gotta wake up our people, wake them up. Wake them up, Latoya. Wake them up with the wake up call. Yeah, wake them up. <laughs> I know Southwell. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm so happy to see you all. What can I say? It was a beautiful spring break. I slept in. Well, I woke up early, but then I'd go back to sleep because I still, you know, I was in that routine. I wake up early morning, wee hours, and then I'd go back to sleep and I'll be crawling out of bed like, say, around nine o'clock, nine-ish. And the boys didn't wake up, like, especially Caleb. At 10 o'clock, Caleb, I wake up. Because we went to bed. Make, make sure he went to bed late in the night, like really, really late. They didn't want to go to sleep anyway. They were too hype and you know excited that they were off school so <laughs> but now i'm back and thank god oh daddy's back at work mommy's back at work the boys are back at school and springtime spring break i mean over just like that just like that just like that but here we are <sighs> on a duel i saw charnette charnette campbell oh child i saw her over the weekend at the um home going service for a dear friend and um queen 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 you all you know you know you know i feel about you uh you are so warm and thank you for just you know being you i love when people are real and you can just tell you don't have to wonder if you know and i want yeah, i don't have to hold back i can just be myself and she was just so warm and supportive and i was <laughs> she's the one that was morning child and she still found time to be there for for me, in, in more ways than one. I won't tell them everything. Well, let's delay, Shireen Rowe. But anyway, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's get into it, shall we? Because time ain't waiting on nobody, child. Verona, Joan Dawkins, Shirley Smith, do you love my hairstyle? Thank you. Thank you. It's the best I could do at 4.30. <laughs> 4 30, I was, yeah, doing my hair and everything. Thank you, Mama. Yes, Lord, here we are, Jesus. Here we are. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. 
today. We thank you for waking us up. Even though we're so unworthy, you still show up this morning. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercies that are new. Father, thank you for being our Abba Father. For you have given us the spirit of adoption to call you our Father which art in heaven. Hallowed be your name. We thank you, Lord, for your many blessings towards us. And here we are this morning on another Don't Pass Me By. We're simply and humbly asking you, your people, oh God, we want to ask you to hear our humble cry. A lot of us are carrying so much in our hearts, so much on our shoulders, so much on our minds, and so we wake up feeling heavy. So, Father, right now, right here, right now, we ask you, don't pass us by. We know you will not pass us by. You will hear our wounded hearts. We will tell you every anguish because we know, God, there's, there is no sorrow on earth that you cannot heal. Help us to be truly grateful. Help us to complain less and praise you more regardless of whatever situation we're in. Even if you have removed everything that we own, help us to still find time to praise you. Even if our health is failing, help us to still find time to worship you and give you the honor that you deserve. You have a plan for our lives. Help us to know that. So if only we just learn to lean not to our own understanding, mighty rock, mighty rock, and to trust completely in you, then we know, oh God, that that future that you have for us is nothing but hope. Oh God, and to give us a special plan, a special future for our lives. So bless us, we pray. Tune my voice as I sing another morning with and for your people. Let your people not see me, little old Latoya Mullings, but let them see your glory shining through me. Holy Spirit of God, send your holy angels to sing with me right here and right now. And touch your people once again. We pray in your name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Never 
I hear you want to pull up. I hear you want to pull up, Mama. You asked for pull up, and I'm giving it to you. I miss the name. But thank you for the stars, Marlene and Riri. Thank you so much. Who asked for the pull up? Can't see your name. Jeez, it moves so fast. I faced a mountain that I never faced before. That's why I'm calling on you, Lord. I know it's been a while. Lord, please hear my prayer. I need you like I never have before. And in Durland, thank you for the stars. Sometimes it takes a mountain. Sometimes the trouble sees. Sometimes it takes a desert, my God, to get a hold of me. Your love is so much stronger.
longer than whatever is troubling you this morning. Yes, his love is so much stronger than whatever troubles Latoya. Father God, sometimes it takes a mountain. Sometimes it takes a desert. Sometimes it takes a troubled sea. Mighty rock. Sometimes it takes a mountain to trust you and believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, Father, help me to believe. Help me to believe. Whether it's a mountain, a desert, help me to believe. Help me to know that you love. You love the love of God. So rich and pure, so measureless and strong. Mighty rock, his love shall forevermore endure. Sometimes it takes a mountain. His love is so much stronger, so much stronger than whatever is troubling you. Just know that this morning, his love, his precious love, his everlasting, unconditional love is so much stronger, so much stronger, so much bigger than any mountain child. Yes, sometimes it takes a desert to get a hold of me, Jesus.
Amen. We believe, we believe, we believe. We believe, Jesus. Sometimes it takes a while. Yeah. 
gone. All of Job's livestock was gone. Them just dropped off dead on ground. As we would say in Jamaica, them dead. He lost everything, all of his wealth. His wife was there. And she was there to witness when his body started to deteriorate. deteriorate. Mighty rock. Thanks for the star shining, Leon. And she looked at him with disgust. Your wife that you think would be there to, you know, wipe the sores and just try to give you a little comfort. She said, after all of this, you still want to stand up like you have integrity and you fear God? Huh? What is this? Praise him now, no? Let me see what you're going to do. You might as well just curse him and die. Mighty rock. When that comes from your right hand, from your rib, when your wife can look at you and say that, and in the midst of it, even Job's friends, when they came to look for him, when they heard what was going on, and they said, my God, they came to Job's place, and they saw Job, they couldn't even believe it was him. He was unrecognizable, with all the sores over his body. Remember, you know, big Job, big, big Job, wealthy, had everything going for him. Job was just sitting there, and they never said a word for seven nights and seven days. They just, they were just there in silence, you know, just trying to be there for their friend. Sometimes your presence as a friend, you don't even know your presence, even if you're not saying anything, it means so much. It means so much. Because they didn't want to say anything to just, you know, stir up anything. They were just there for him, just there for him. And then, after the seven nights and seven days, when Job started to just yell out to God, and Job is like, God, why did I even born? He didn't curse God, you know. Not once did he curse God. He was just venting and saying, look at everything that's happening to me. Then his friends began to talk. And they said, well, you know, Job, maybe... It's some great sin that you have done. And God decided not to just curse you. Maybe I had a sin. And Job said, come on, what kind of sin you ever see me commit? That God would do this. The next friend said, boy, you know, maybe you never really show enough sympathy to others. Me, a whole lot of little if and at and and and, and buts and innuendos and everything they're trying to just talk. It better they remain silent. Just be there for your friend. If God has not given you a word, when someone's going through something, you shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. Don't there going making assumptions and allegations. Shut your mouth and just be there for your friend, child. Job stood up and he said, I know. Worship him anyhow. Don't be quick to listen to the naysayers and say, Yeah, man, I'm 
curse, they curse, you know. That's why they don't reach no way in life yet. Yeah, they're good for nothing and worthless. Don't let nobody, don't listen to them. You stand up, child, and you hold up your head, and you worship God anyhow. You worship him anyway, and you lift your voice and sing a song. Even if you can't remember a scripture, he will give you a song in the night season and all the day long. Some through the water, some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood of Jesus Christ. Listen, Father God, you are not cursed, Elise. You are not cursed, Jennifer. You are not cursed. God is having his way with you. Let him do it. He knows how much you can bear. So let him work his way in your life. Don't listen to nobody, child. Be quick to cast you down and throw you down and keep you underfoot and keep you all boxed in thinking you're cursed. Job was never cursed. Job never committed a sin that God would curse him that way. Job knew <laughs> Job knew that his blessings were not only a sign of favor and suffering was not only a sign of sin. He knows that nothing of us He said, my redeemer lives. My redeemer lives. Blessed be, blessed be the name of the Lord. That is who you are. That is who you are. over anybody life who are you to do that who are you to do that who are you to be little people and keep them down who do you think you are and even if you know that that person has committed a great sin you still shut your mouth because you don't know what God is doing you don't know what God is doing even if they're married seven times God can still use them just like the woman at the well yes even if they never graduate from college God can still use them even if they have no money and living a life that you would deem to be poor God can still use them in a mighty way God can use anyone God can use anybody child so don't listen you are not cursed you are not cursed you are not cursed God is having his way with you. Let him have his way in your life. Let him have his way in your life. Even when it seems like it's just like you can't go on no more because God, this is just too much. What did I ever do? You are not cursed. Yes, Andre, it's none of their business. God has the final say. Andre Murray, thank you. Yes. It's none of their business. Because whatever great sin they have committed, you don't know where they stand with God. You don't know where their heart is with God because you are not God. You can never tell. You can never tell. You can never tell. God has cast their sins into the sea of forgetfulness. And you take it up and spread it every day, child. Spreading it to everybody. Trying to make people feel belittled and to make them feel inferior to you. Who do you think you are? You are not God. Leave people alone. Leave 
people alone, they are not cursed. Sometimes they're the ones that are cursed. Mighty Rock, Mighty Rock in a weary land. Promise keep light in the darkness, my God. We praise you anyhow. Happy 
birthday to you, Mama. May the good Lord continue to bless you abundantly, exceedingly, above all that you could ever ask or think. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear Charnette. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Zion Jones Vassal, Debbie Rima, Carlene, Cynthia, everybody. Big up on the south. I love you all so much. It was a beautiful time with you, and I can't wait to see you again. Next week, we're going to celebrate, um, you know, the, uh, the crucifixion, death, and resurrection of Christ. That's what I want to say. I didn't want to say the E word because, you know. But anyway, Gina Johnson, thank you so much for the stars as well. Marcia Stevens, everybody. I'm going to pick up Shernet. No, no, no. Have a happy birthday, Shernet. Come on, let's take it home. i got to run. Oh, happy 